Today I am going to show how you can create CRUD API using Express and Node.js. I will make it very simple so I will not use any database. I will use array for data manipulation. So let's get started. Uh, first of all I will run command npm init. It will create our initial file. Just keep hit enter. Okay, this is uh, our package.json file has been created. Now I will install express npm install express. You can see Node.js for uh, Node modules folder has been created. Now uh, I'm going to create our initial file that is called server.js. You can create with any name. I create with server.js. Server.js. Okay. Uh, first import <coughs> express um, constant express equal to require express okay now constant app is equal to express so this line will create the instance of express object now I am I will allow uh, express to accept incoming JSON request so I will simply use app dot use express dot JSON Okay, now I will create the start the server uh, app dot listen eight double triple zero. Our port will be eight triple zero. Console dot log server is up. Okay, now check our server is created or not. Just enter node server.js you can see server is up our server is created now I will create uh, get API first of all I will create a simple array for data manipulation so var contacts is equal to okay. id is equal to 1 and name is equal to javed so i will consider it as our database i will create api for getting all the content just use app.get define the uh, path slash contact request and response okay response dot send um, success is equal to true and message is equal to data fetched successfully and at last our data contact I have created a get API that will uh, get all the contacts, all the data from the database. Okay, let's check this API. I will use Postman for um, a checking the API. You can use any service. Okay, uh, this is our port uh, local host port eight triple zero slash contact. If I hit this API, it will return all the contact contact from the database. Now I'm going to create a API that will add a new contact to database or array app dot post slash contact request response okay first of all I will 
will um, get the name from the body so constant i can use uh, var or var name is equal to request dot body dot name okay now i will add this uh, name to the array simple contact dot push I, I will push the new object to the array id will be generated or uh, unique id should be unique so i will use contact dot length plus one dot two string it will create a new id every time i create the contact okay name will be name which i receive from the database so that's it now i will send the response response dot send success is equal to true and message data added successfully okay let's check this api um, initially i have just one entry oh, i will add another entry uh, abc so if i hit this api data added successfully uh, if i check by using get api the result is here i have received two contacts okay now i will add a validation on post api if someone uh, forget to add name or forget to add any key so it will throw an error that this field is missing so let's add the validation i will simply um, do add the if else condition if name um, use the or this condition if name is not present simple throw up error response response dot send success will be false and message will be whatever i will add validation error and main part is errors that how much fields are missing i will mention here field with name and message will be cannot be null you can add any message okay now let's check this validation if i remove the name here i will receive an error that um, validation fail field name and cannot be null if i add uh, name here it will be run successfully if i check here uh, the uh, entry has been added successfully now i will create uh, uh, api for deleting any query create a delete api which will delete a entry from the array so i will use app dot delete and a route will be slash contact slash id this is param id okay this is response request response I will extract the ID ID from the param so our ID is equal to request dot params dot ID name should be same if I uh, place name uh, anything which will be same as here okay uh, I will find that uh, contact by with the ID so. Uh, and then I will filter the data and replace the replace the old data with new data. Okay. 
um, constant no, var new contact is equal to old contact dot filter I will use just simple uh, filter logic that will um, remove that uh, um, that object which uh, which I want to delete simple el dot id not equal to id okay now I will replace the old data to new data contact is equal to new contacts that's it and now I will send the response to user response dot send um, success will be true and uh, message will be data deleted successfully that's it now check this API first I will um, add a new entry uh, first check we have uh, only one entry if I add the entry here now I have two entries in array Javed and Ali I will delete uh, Ali which has ID 2 so I will place here um, contact slash 2 which means that if uh, it is uh, match any ID 2 it will be deleted so let's check it so I have successfully deleted the contact now let's check is it really deleted or not you can see here uh, our entry has been deleted successfully now I will create the API for updating data app dot put slash contact slash id request response okay there are two things here um, id i receive from the params and name i receive from the body okay this is two different things a uh, name will be replaced uh, whatever user enter the name the name will be replaced okay so I will first of all I will find that uh, object which I want to update so I will use find index contact dot find index element element dot id is equal to id okay I receive the now I get the index of this uh, object I will uh, update the data contact index is equal to contact index I use a spread operator here which means that uh, keep as it is uh, all the remaining data and then just I right here so I'm, gen I'm just changing the name and keep as it is all the remaining data and our data is updated now I simply <coughs> send the response response dot send um, success will be true and message will be data updated successfully okay I first thing I want to mention here I have to use uh, validation here uh, like the validation I use in post API okay I will simply use the if else condition if name do all the work else throw a error response 
I will copy paste from the post API. Okay, now our put API has been created. Let's check this API. Javed, I, I want to change the name to Javed1 so I will use put API and ID will be 1 Javed1 uh, data has been updated now let's check old name is Javed if I refresh this API ok I think there is a problem here Let's find out. Okay, I keep the name same here. Javed one. Get updated. Old name is Javed and it will be converted to Javed1. See, our data is updated successfully. So, this is simply a current API. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe this channel and if you have any query, please comment. Thank you.